Hello, here's my completed Core i7-2600K CPU build with 8 gigs of RAM, DDR3-1600, 4 terabytes of storage using uh, two Seagate Barracudas. I'm going to be doing the Heaven 2.5 benchmark on here. And the system is overclocked from the turbo mode from 3 0.8 gigahertz to 4.45 gigahertz. I will be doing a run through of DirectX 11 settings with anti-strophy set to the max 16 and anti-aliasing at 8 at 1900 by 1200 resolution with tessellation on normal. And uh, Radeon 6950 crossfire setup running at stock clock speeds. Uh, the 24 inch screen, I can't fit the whole screen on the video and show you the frame counter at the same time, so I will just be uh, focusing in on the part of the screen that shows you the current frames that it's getting. Uh, at the end of the video, I will also show you some screenshots of tests with different DirectX modes as well as with the crossfire off, so you can see how well the crossfire scales in performance. <clears throat> Starting the benchmark here. So, when it starts, the minimum can be anywhere between 27 and 30, right when it starts from the beginning. So, that minimum can vary. And here are the current frames that it's getting for this particular scene. I'm going to pull back a little bit. You should still be able to see that frame counter. So, a little bit more about this setup. Uh, again, I'm using DDR3 1600 CL7 memory by G-Skill, the rip draw memory. There are two 4 gig sticks. RAID 0 on my two 2 terabyte, <clears throat> 6 gigabyte a second hard drives. Uh, XFX brand Radeon 6950 HDs. And overclocked from the turbo overclocked from 3.8 to 4.5 basically. 4, 4 and a half. I've even done 4.8, it works fine. The CPU temperature standard 72 with my water cooling solution. So the FPS here is the average FPS. And then you show the minimum and maximum 69. Eight so far. So again, at the end of the video, I will be showing you some pictures I took of the screen when I completed the run through of this test during DirectX 10 and 9 tests, as well as with Crossfire off on all 9, 10, and 11 tests. So you can see what a big difference Crossfire makes when you're using a program that actually scales well that takes advantage of it. And these cards can run kind of hot. They can get between 80 and 90 degrees. When, when you're going full load on, on them. Mm. 
Pardon any shakiness in the camera. It's hard to hold this thing steady. I'm not using a tripod. Just holding my iPhone. So again, this test you're looking at now is crossfire mode, 6950s. They're two gigabyte cards, not the one gigabyte. So two 6950, two gigabyte cards. DirectX 11, tessellation is set to normal. This is at 1920 by 1200 resolution, which is the max for this monitor. And Crossfire is enabled. <clears throat> These are the results on this pass. Uh, the results can vary by a couple frames. This is a lower end. I usually get 28 as a minimum, 28 to 30 as a minimum, and I usually get 82 as the max, 81, 82, sometimes 83. So this is the lower end of the average that I get. And as you see, the arrow crossfire X mode 2048, and it says D3D11, which is direct X11. Here's your resolution. Don't don't confuse this filter, trilinear filter, for AA and antistrophe, because you see the antistrophe is 16x, 8-speed anti-aliasing. All right, let me close that out. Quit. I will sh quickly show you some of the results at the different settings. Part in the flickeriness. Okay. This is DirectX 9 and without crossfire turned on, running as a single card. Because you don't you notice you don't see crossfire here. See it says 39 as the average with 76 as the max. And here it is with crossfire mode, 73.5 average with 145 max frame rates. You'll notice crossfire here. Here is the same test in Direct X10 without crossfire, just as a single card. With Direct X10, 28 FPS was the average, 18.9 the lowest, 44.9 the highest. You'll notice it's just as a single running as a single card. And now notice how high this puppy jumps up to with the same test in crossfire mode. 56.6 is your average. And the max jumps up to 92. Another minimum of 35, you see Crossfire X. Here's DirectX 11 as a single card. 23.6 was the average, 10 was the minimum, 40 maximum. You notice it's a single card. And here is with Crossfire mode. 47 is the average, with 28.6 being the lowest, 82 being the max. So you're seeing double the performance with Crossfire enabled. So, very, very nice scaling, nice performance. And when you're using a game that uses this, a brand new game, you're going to get nice smooth frame rates at any resolution you can throw at it. So, there you have it. I hope you enjoy the video.